Hi, I'm Emma Morgenstern, the Immigrant Justice Corps Fellow with Volunteers of Legal Services Immigration Project. Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm the Community Advocate also with the Immigration Project, and thanks for clicking on this video. You're getting this video and this email today because you are one of our recent clients who has um, become a U.S. citizen in the last couple of years. Congrats! We're very excited for you. And one of the reasons we're really excited is because there's an upcoming national election. Many of you have probably already registered to vote. So this is a reminder to vote in the presidential election this November. For those of you who haven't yet registered to vote, we did want to provide some information on how to do so. Please remember that you can have a huge impact on your community if you're able to vote in this election. And it's not an option that many people have in this country. To register, to please visit www.ny.gov slash services slash register hyphen vote. Please also know that we understand there's a pandemic going on and voting in person can be a really scary prospect. Everyone in New York State is eligible to vote absentee this year. All you have to do is request an absentee ballot and check the box next to temporary illness because that also includes COVID-19. Now, let's go over some of the eligibility criteria in order to be eligible to register to vote. You have to be a U.S. citizen, which you are. You have to be 18 years or older by December 31st of the year in which you register. For example, if you are just registering this year, you would have to turn 18 by the end of December 31st of 2020. You must be 18 years of age when voting. What documents do you need to have when you register? Your social security number, the zip code on record with a DMV, and a New York State driver's license, a permit, or a non-driver's ID. Again, the deadline to register is October 9th, 2020, and remember, one decision can change the entire future. So again, it's so important to vote. And now we're gonna take you to the website just so you can have a little preview of what it looks like. And so this is the website that you will be directed to when you are registering to vote. Again, it has a quick overview of the requirements and of the documents needed. And it's a really quick and easy thing to do. As you saw up top, it should not take you more than five minutes to do so. Um, and I'm also sharing with you the website where you can register for absentee voting. And as this website says, you can also vote early from October 24th through November 1st. So you can vote early in person, you can request a ballot by mail, or you can vote in person on November 3rd. And remember, the Postal Service is gonna be stretched thin this year. So if you can either request a ballot and drop it off at your polling place or vote early, those are probably the safest and most effective methods for this election. And at the end of this video, you should scroll down through our email and where you can find all the links and relevant information as well. We're here, as, we're here too, so if you have any questions or have any difficulty in registering to vote, please feel free to reach out and we'll work through it with you. Thank you for clicking on today's video and have a great rest of the day. We're very grateful to be able to have your voice in this, in this election. Thank you.